I'm Patrick Bailey with IQList.com. Today is April 24th, 2022, and in this video I'm going to show off a rectangular carabiner and a little bit about how I made it. Okay, the glorious square carabiner. There's not a whole lot to it, it's just a square carabiner. But what I'm using is I'm using this, uh, what you call it, carabiner gate from, uh, what is it? I'm going to say this wrong, FF3D. I'll correct myself in a minute, but what he's done is he's made a lot of carabiners that I like. In fact, I licensed a carabiner from him last year that had IQless on it. And here's, this is the one I'm actually using in this case. This is the original, and I'll put a link to that. It's a great carabiner, great carabiner. Uh, but what I'd like to do is make other designs utilizing this gate. This gate is, is a genius. And so what I wanted to do was kind of reverse engineer and figure out where, how to align that up. Because this is my first test, is just to figure out how to line it up so that I can make one. So I made a square one just for kicks, and I have other ones that I've worked on, and a few that I have posted, so I have used that same idea to make a smaller carabiner. So here, I'll take this. Let me take this apart. I did post this one. So that's the same idea, just shrunk down 50%. And there's one that I'm making for the conference, the homeschool conference coming up so I can pass a few around that have my logo on it. And some, aside from just being able to make cooler carabiners, I really like this. This also feeds into one of the ideas I'm working on right now. I'm trying to put out a licensing concept, not that it benefits me at all, but what would be nice to do is to make something like this with a base, some kind of carabiner. I mean, I like this one because I designed it, that you can put a logo in. So imagine if you have some company logo, you could stick it in there. But you could use the rest of the base, and you just pull in an SVG file, boom, make a logo, and print a bunch out. Now, as is, if you were to take my design without permission, you'd be in trouble. But also, if I was to take his design for this gate without permission, I'd be in trouble. Now, he, he, he's allowed people to use this for free, to print it for free, to share it for free, but I couldn't take it and sell it. I'd have to go negotiate with him and talk with him. But I'm working on this licensing idea that if you were to do something like that, uh, you could have a combination where if you were to take something like this, make a bunch for a company or something, sell them for a buck each, that you could pay him a fee based on the fee that you got. That's a whole other concept I'm working on. Uh, but anyway, square, that's, that's what it is. And with that, let's go over some of the details. Okay, first some URLs. So first URL here is over at Thingiverse, and it's thing... 108943 and it's ddf3d.com it's his i am utilizing his part of his carabiner the gate not the actual rest of the carabiner but just the gate so uh, i i am i am borrowing from that uh and then as for my rectangle carabiner here it is on printables so you can go there'll be a link in the show notes but you can go check that out and also even though I'm not going to go into great detail, for those who want to go experiment with some things, I did put this G code out here on, on GitHub that you can go download, and I'll go over that in a minute on how that works. But with that, let's go over the details. So to print this square carabiner, it took a whopping 46 minutes to print. It took 0.8 cents of electricity, so not even a penny. And it weighs 0 0.01 kilograms, and at $20 per kilogram, it comes up to 20 cents. So total all in, cost a whopping 21 cents to make this rectangle carabiner. Um, but now, with that, let's go over some of the details, some of the ideas of what's going on here. So a couple ideas. So I've been sitting here, um, let me bring this in here as I talk about this. Um, I've been going to this homeschool conference for several years now, trying to show off free printing. And so one thing I like to show off that I think is really neat, uh, that inspire is captures the imagination, are carabiners. And I think one of the best ones is is uh, this one from 333, what did I say, FF3D? I always forget his title. Let me go look it up again so I can give him credit. DDF3D. Uh, and I thought they were so good that the original carabiner, I went to him and said, hey, can you make me a branded one where I could put IQless.com in? And he did. And so I've been giving those away out for uh, for free at the conference. Printed up, I printed out probably... Ugh well over 1,500 of them over the past few years and just handed them out. They're kind of fun. But I thought I'd like to make a different kind of carabiner, have a better branding on it. And so as a result, I thought, you know what? I could reuse his gate because it's a brilliant gate and then just design my own thing around it. But to do that, I have to know where all the slots are, where all the holes are. 
And then once I can do that, I can design whatever I want. I can design a rectangle one. I can design like the IQ list one that I, sh that I showed you, and I'll show you again. So once you know where to put the holes and the gap, uh, you can reuse uh, his gate. Um, so anyway, with that, what I first did is I went in here to OpenSCAD, and this is the OpenSCAD file out there. I'm not going to go into great detail or not rebuild, rebuild it, but what I did is I imported his, his um, not the gate, but I imported the carabiner, and then tried to figure out how best to capture those holes in that design. So the idea is I'm trying to make a mold, if you will. So I sat there for a long time trying to figure out where to put every little tiny thing and where to put this hole, and basically say, okay, once I got that figured out, I can make this, and that's what that open SCAD does, and make that into an STL file and then reuse that and build up something else around it, and this will be the, the negative, the difference. So this will take away from the other model. So a simple way to show that is in the square. So let me go bring, well, I call it a square, but it's really a rectangle, right? Okay. So what I did with this rectangle is I, that's exactly what I did. I brought in the carabiner guide. So if I come here, and I'll remove this difference real quick. And I haven't put this code out, but if someone really wants it, you know, I can throw it out there. But you get the idea. So here is the negative space I need to have, right? And then what I did, let me do the opposite. I built this thing around it, which really is just a bunch of circles and hulls. So if you see me do circles and hulls, and at some point I think I'll do a whole video on this, or the idea of it. You know, it's just making this whole thing, and if I wanted to, I could make it different. I could make it a, a square or make it a... I had a lot of ideas. You could make a heart-shaped carabiner. You could make all kinds of different ideas, as long as you knew how to make that one shape. And if I throw this guy back in, you can see that's kind of where I need to cut things. Um, and that way, I could, as I built this up, I could make sure I was making my piece big enough so that it had the space to cut in, but also not getting out of line, right? So all I did was take that, put the difference in there, and boom, it cuts my guy up, and there I go. I got the shape I want, and then it's compatible um, with the other, uh, with the carabiner gate. And that way I, I can continue with this idea, and I have a little bit, to make any kind of carabiner I want and reuse that nice gate that he made. Okay, and then, you know, so I can show this other one I made. So then, uh, and I'll probably do a video on this one in particular, or maybe a square one, just start simple, start simple someday. But once I had that, I could do an idea like this that I'm making for the homeschool conference to hand out, where I could make whatever I want in this way, and this, the idea behind this, once I get this going, and I haven't released this yet, that you can take a carabiner like this, and then just like on the, um, on the, on the dinosaur crossing signs that I've made or the magnets I've made, you can take another SVG, load it in here, and boom, just pop it on there as a logo. So here I have an IQless one, but I also put one out just recently that's out there right now that's a home key logo, just has a home key icon in there. So the idea is you could you know, brand this. You could make one for your, your church or you could make one for your, your homeschool. You could make a homeschool one. Uh, or I need to make a mailroom key, like I have a, a mail key that we use all the time, and I need to distinguish it. Um, but anyway, so that's, that's the idea. Is I made this negative space so I could make any kind of shaped uh, carabiner I want, reusing this good gate that he made, which I really, I just think it's cool. I really, I really like it. There are other simpler carabiners that just, you know, have a, a, a thing in there. Um, and I've explored those and they're nice, but I just really like, I like the action on this one. I really do. Okay. Um, so with that, let's wrap this up. Uh, 3d printing is an adventure that you're on. You can develop your skills and knowledge. You can take this in so many ways. You can make a business out of this. You can teach others and you can make amazing designs. You can also reuse some other people's designs and incorporate them into your own too. So design it, engineer it. I am working on a Harry Potter fridge magnet. I'm using the OpenSCAD code I used for my platform nine and three quarter sign. My first test was almost a success. I need to redo it using a .25 nozzle. Otherwise, the smaller lettering does not, lettering does not come out well. Well, I, I guess I could make a giant frig magnet, fridge magnet using 0.4 nozzle, but I'll try the .25. If all goes well, it should be up on printables by the time this video is posted.